Being able to log out user from all the devices is a good security feature to have. Luckily Laravel has this feature built in for the web guard. All you need to do is you uncomment one middleware and call logout other devices method from wherever you need and it will invalidate all of the user sessions except the current one. But what about SBAs that use Laravel Sanctum for authentication? How would we implement this feature for that? In this video we will be adding that feature to the SBA that we've been working on using Laravel Fortify and Laravel Sanctum on previous videos. Just a quick note here Laravel Fortify is not a requirement for this feature to work. It would work on the regular Laravel applications that use Laravel Sanctum for authentication. I'm just going to reuse the SBA that I made for the Laravel Fortify series. The link to the Laravel Fortify series is in the description. If you're interested, you can go ahead and watch that as well. So let's get started and let's add this feature to the SBA. Before we enable anything, we need to understand how exactly this works behind the scenes. Let's think about what is the problem that we are trying to solve. Let's log into our SBA from two different browsers. So I have Chrome and IE Edge open and let's log in on both. Let's go to the account settings on both. And behind the scenes I've added this section logged in sessions here, which basically pulls in the data from the sessions table and displays it here. So as you can see, it highlights the current session. So this is the Chrome browser and it highlights the Chrome correctly. And in here we have the Edge browser and it highlights the Edge windows correctly. Now what happens if my password is compromised and the attacker logs in with my credentials? So the first thing I would do once I would find out about this incident, I would log into the application and change the password and expect that the attacker would not be able to use my account anymore. Let's try to simulate that. So I'm going to change the password on the Google Chrome and password was updated successfully. And I'll go ahead and refresh the page on uh, Internet Explorer and we're still logged in. So this is the security problem we're trying to solve. Even though I updated my password, the attacker is still logged in and he's still able to do some damage. So we need to be able to log all the sessions out once we update the password. Another reason why we would want to have this feature to log all the devices out is what if we didn't want users to share their credentials. So now that we know what the problem is, let's try to solve it. Let's open the Laravel docs and see how we can enable this. So we can go over to the documentation, search for the authentication, and we need to scroll down to the logging out section. And here we see invalidating sessions on the other devices section. So if we click on that, we see that there is this middleware that we need to uncomment. So that is within the kernel class within the web middleware group. And then we can also call the logout other devices uh, method on the auth facade and that will log uh, all the other sessions out. So let's take one step at a time. Let's go to the kernel class and uncomment this. So it's right here. And let's see what it actually does. First, it checks if the session exists and if the request has the user. If it does not, then it proceeds with the request. Quick note here that this request, the user here, will try to authenticate the user uh, with the remember me feature. So if we go within here and then we go within the get user resolver, we can search for the set user resolver and that is within the auth service provider. And here we see that it's calling user resolver. So let's see where that's defined. And that is within the auth manager and this uses user resolver here and that just calls the user method on the guard and the guard in our case is a session guard so if we open the session guard and we scroll down to the user section right here this is what gets called and this is pretty simple this is what initializes the user it retrieves the id from the session and then retrieves the user by that id fires necessary events and this section right here will try to get the user from the recaller cookie which is the remember me feature let's close these out and go back to the authenticate session uh, class so we covered this section now let's move on to the next section now if the user used the remember me feature it will pull the saved cookie here and it will compare the hashed password against the user's current hashed password and if they don't match it will log the user out so this solves the one problem where the remember me feature is used let's move on to the next section 
Next, if the password has not been saved in the session yet, Laravel will store the password hash in the session. It will call the store password hash in session method, which basically just stores it in a password underscore hash underscore default driver as the key. And then the value is the user's current uh, hashed password. And then right here, this is where it compares if the value saved in that session matches with the current user's hashed password. And if the hashed passwords don't match, then it logs the user out. So this solves the other problem where if user updates the password, all other devices will be logged out because the hashed password in their session would no longer match the new password hash in the database. And finally, after the request, it stores the new password's hash in the session. The reason this is needed is because user may have updated the password within the same request. Without this, the user would be logged out from the current device as well. And that's not what we want. We only want to log out other devices, not the current device. So this takes care of that uh, issue. Let's test this out. Let's log in in both browsers again. Let's change the password on the Google Chrome. And now let's see if we were logged out on the IE Edge. So if I refresh the page on the Edge, we were not logged out. The account is still logged in. The reason this does not work is because we are using Laravel Sanctum. So if we go back to the API within the kernel, we enabled authenticate session middleware within the web middleware group. Remember that ensure frontend requests are stateful middleware, this one? If we look at this middleware, it starts the sessions right here. So we can't really authenticate a session before this middleware has run. We need to add authenticate session middleware right after ensure frontend requests are stateful middleware. So I'm going to move this down right here and also because later we will be modifying this middleware itself i'm just going to clone the content of this middleware and create my own middleware so let me go to http middleware and let's just add a new class here and call it authenticate session and we're just going to copy everything from here well except the namespace I'm going to explain why we need to do this in a minute because we're going to modify this a little bit. So let's go back here and let's change this to our own middleware. So authenticate session. Let's test this out now. Let's reset the password on Chrome. Password has been updated. I'm going to refresh the edge and we were logged out. And I'm going to refresh the Chrome and we were also logged out. So it's working, but not exactly as intended. We should not be logged out on the current device. The reason this is happening because the default driver here is the web. We need to change that to Sanctum because the session key will be mismatched when user resets the password. I'm going to show you this quick to make sure this sounds less confusing. Let me open the API here. So what I was saying that this driver here, the full driver is uh, set to web and we need this to be Sanctum because we're using the Sanctum guard. So let's add the logging here of the default driver. So we're going to log the bug or we're going to do this auth get default driver. And let's see what this is. And I'm also going to log the default driver here within the tab. So let's call it first and call this second so that we can identify which one is which so let's refresh the pages here and let's log in okay i'm going to delete this right now and let's go to the account settings and let's update the password before i update i want to delete the logs file to make sure that we don't have anything uh, from previous uh, requests. So let's update and let's confirm that we are logged out. We are. And let me go back to the API and see what got logged. So here we see the first is logged as web. And then the second is logged as uh, Sanctum. And then this is just after the page was refreshed. So this is the problem basically. So when we update the password, the IE edge gets logged out from this check here, which is good. And then this right here is supposed to store the new password hash into the session so that the current device 
device does not get logged out. And then since this stores the session with the different key password underscore hash underscore sanctum, this also fails on the current device and we are also being logged out on the current device. So that's why we're being logged out from Chrome as well. Now I have not found a good solution to this. Laravel team may come up with a better solution, but what I did to solve this, I simply defined a default driver and called it sanctum and then passed that instead of the auth get default driver here. So that's why I created this uh, authenticate session class so that I could modify it. So I can just call something like default driver guard and we can call this sanctum and then we can replace all instances of this auth get default driver with this default driver guard. Perfect, so let's see now if that works. I'm going to delete the log. Let's go ahead and log in. Let's log in on the edge as well. Now, if I open the API logs file, we can already see that all of these are being logged with the sanctum key. So that means that the session key matches in all the checks. Let's update the password on Google Chrome. Password was updated. Let's refresh the IE edge and it was logged out as expected. Let's refresh Google Chrome and it was not logged out. So we've solved that problem as well. Now, if we go back to the API and open the logs, the sanctum is being logged. Now you might be asking why we couldn't just change the default guard in our auth configuration file because as you probably know the default driver is gotten from the auth manager class so if we open the auth manager get default driver right here this references the auth config and then defaults guard section so if we open our auth.php we have the defaults and the guard and the default guard is web you might be asking why can't we just change this to sanctum and the reason for that is that sanctum is a wrapper around of the web guard so sanctum still uses the sessions if we change this to sanctum then certain methods won't be available on the authenticate session for example when we call this guard via remember and uh, another method is i think log out current device these won't be available on the non-web guards so this is why if we changed it in the auth configuration uh, to sanctum then other parts would break so now that you understand how this all works it will be very simple to implement a log out all devices button functionality so i've already implemented this functionality in the background uh, to not make this video any longer so i'm just going to go over what i did quickly I'm also going to explain how this is uh, displayed here. So I'm going to open the SPA and I have this component browser sessions here. This is a section right here that loads the sessions. It just makes a get request to the user sessions endpoint and then sets the sessions to the state. Then we have this logout all uh, method here, which basically makes a post request to the user sessions purge and passes the password that we get from the confirmation uh, model. And on success, it closes the model and reloads the sessions. And this is the section right here that displays the sessions. And the button itself simply sets the confirming to true and it uses the same confirm password uh, model dialog that I implemented in the previous uh, videos and the previous Laravel Fortify uh, series. So let's go to the API side now and uh, I'll show you the endpoints. So let me close this out. So this is the index method right here. And this code may seem familiar to you because this is uh, almost identical to the code that's uh, written for Laravel Jetstream. It basically loads the sessions from the database and then runs through each session and creates an agent object. And the other method we have is destroy, which is also almost identical to the Laravel Jetstream's uh, destroy method. It checks the given password against the user's current password. And if it matches, it logs out other devices and deletes the other session records. And this delete other session records simply just removes the sessions from the table. And log out other devices, let's see what it actually does. If we go in here, all it simply does, it updates the user's password and then handles the logic for the recaller uh, feature which is a remember me feature and then fires the necessary logout events so you might be asking how does this tie in with the authenticate session middleware and that's actually very simple when you call hash make on the password every time you call this it's a different hash even for the same password so even though this is updating the password to the same password because essentially we're just passing the current user's password and this just updates the password to the same password uh, the hash will be unique every time and i can show that to you 
So if I open PHP or Descent Tinker and I can call hash make foo, we get this hash. And if I call this again and again, you see that hash is different each time. So basically this simple password updates section here invalidates all the other sessions because the password hash is unique. And even if the password is same, the hash will be different each time. That's just the way the hashing algorithm works. It protects against the rainbow table attacks. If two users have the same passwords but different hashes, it is more secure. After user updates the password, you won't match the hash that's saved in the session where the check is handled right here. So this checks the saved uh, hash in the session against the saved hash in the database. And even though the password is same, the hash will be different. And that's why it logs the user out. Let's test this button now to make sure that it works. So I'm going to open the edge and we're logged in and we're also logged in on the Chrome. So we have two sessions right now. Let's confirm the password. And as you see, the only Chrome uh, remains here. The other one was removed. If I open the edge here and refresh the page, we were logged out. Before we wrap this up, I want to tell you that you can add this feature to wherever you want. You may want to invalidate sessions when user logs in so that only one session is active per user. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It might be a lot of information, so please take your time and watch it multiple times if needed. Don't worry if it doesn't click on the first run. Originally, I planned this video to be under 10 minutes, but it turned out longer than expected because I like to go into more detail and explain how things work behind the scenes. So please let me know your feedback if you like these kind of videos where I dive into the framework source code and explain how certain things work behind the scenes as I'm working on the features. For me personally to understand something well, I need to look into the source code and see what functions are being called, how they're being called and so on. And after I do that, a lot of things make more sense. Thank you again for watching. Please share this video, hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.